In this video, I'm going to teach you how to take a standard Porsche 911 clock, uh, update the face, and make it look pretty cool like this. Pretty simple process. So the plan is I'm going to take one of these clocks, I'm going to strip it apart, show you what you need to do. The goal is to remove the face, the metal face like this, the original face. We are then going to take our upgrade, apply it to the face, and then put it all back together. Now, let me tell you about the upgrade. So I spent a lot of time and a lot of money creating this. So this was uh, printed all on a three million uh, pound digital press. Uh, it was special media that uh, was a lot of trial and error. If you notice the, uh, the sheen on that, uh, we did a spectral photometer and uh, we measured the color. So we got the color perfect as well to uh, mimic the original Porsche uh, clock faces. Uh, I will put a link below where you can uh, buy these. Uh, I'm gonna sell these uh, just the stickers. Um, so keep the cost down. And you guys can uh, obviously, using the video, do this yourselves. Uh, and you can create something that looks pretty stunning. Okay, so let me uh, just get this, clear this around. I'll get one of the clocks here and I'll show you exactly how to change that. First of all, let's go through the two different types of Porsche clock that you're capable of doing this modification with. Uh, let's start off with the earlier one here. So we've got uh, the early 911 clock, which is from around about 1968 through to 1973 and that is distinguished by this little silver ring around the clock handles here these are slightly more difficult to do but can be done still uh, my preference is this type of clock so this is from 73 through to somewhere like 1989 they used this clock for a long long time um, and I'll show you why I prefer uh, dealing with this type of clock. So as you can see, we lose that silver ring from the earlier cars that I showed you. So this um, is the kind of clock I like to work with. It's, it's very simple to do the uh, conversion on this. So step one is obviously removing your old clock from the car. So very, very simple. There is no screws, there is no bolts, anything like that holding this in place. It's just this little rubber kind of grommety bezel here that sits around the clock. That sits in your dash face. Uh, you should even be able to wiggle it or possibly with, uh, if you're very careful with a screwdriver and maybe a cloth to protect, you just pry it out the sides like that. It pops out, uh, you've got two connectors on the back and uh, a light connector there. So just need to uh, pop the connectors off. One there, one there, and uh, your little light bulb there as well. So three on the back and that's it, it's out of the car. Uh, and re-putting, uh, putting that back in is the uh, reverse process. With both types of clock, early and the, uh, the newer type, getting inside them is exactly the same process. The difference is when you actually go to remove the hands, the clock hands, which is the final part before you can remove the face. Uh, so I will use the newer one because I've already started the process on this one. I will show you how to get inside the clock uh, using this one. So, so first thing we're gonna do once it's removed from the car is we are gonna just remove the little rubber bezel there. Put that to one side. Next, what we need to do is around the rim here. Now I've started this one. I will show you with the uh, other clock. So if we look at the metal black bezel here, around the outside, it is lipped around the little steel body here. You know, if you can just see the lip there. First thing to say is give yourself plenty of time. Don't rush the job. Protect things like the uh, plastic face. To put a, uh, a mat down or a cloth. Obviously for the video, I'm just gonna keep it nice and clean here so I can uh, show you. Um, all right, so what I've got done is I've gone around and I've just lifted up the edge of this, this metal little uh, bezel all the way around. I've uh, actually split it just to show you. 
the next step, just to make it easier on camera for me to do it with one hand. Um, but basically, what we're going to do now is I'm going to split it apart. That's the bit we need, but let me just show you what we have here. So we have part one of the bezel there. We have the face. It goes here. And then we have the outside bezel, which has another bit there. That goes on the outside. And this is the bit. Let me just uh, show you closely. So we've just prized up the outside there. Now, the cool thing about this is if you do it very carefully like this, you don't actually break the bezel at all. Um, two things. Number one, while you're here, if you've got a slightly rusty one like this, all these little black trim bits, you can uh, just spray with a, a little satin black can. All right, but the thing is with this, is you don't see a little bit, a little bit edge you've prized up. Uh, you've got the rubber trim in there as well. And all of that sits right in the uh, clock face uh, of the dash. So you don't really even see any of that. So don't worry uh, about that little edge at the moment because we're going to pop, pop that back down and uh, you will not see any difference. So, okay, next. Right, at this stage, this is where the two uh, types of faces differ. Now, if you've got the uh, newer type of face, you should literally be able to just pop the clock hands off. Uh, that came off very easy. You would just normally just very carefully, you might need to just pry it off. Okay, so they come off. Uh, on the older style clock with our silver little trim piece there, it's a lot more difficult. Uh, you need to be able to get into the back. So that means you've removed the cover. You have to kind of somehow lock up the uh, cogs and then some of these come off easy, some don't. So basically uh, our face sits on here like this. This one comes off. I'll put a couple of uh, pictures on it. Um, there isn't any uh, screw thread threads or anything that I can see on these, um, but again, you kind of seem to have to hold these on. I don't know, maybe this one was a really uh, tricky tight one, um, but I had to just lock those little uh, cogs at the back and just uh, be able to turn this and eventually uh, that came off. So just be very careful with that. So that's the top bit. That slides through there and then that one goes on it there. Okay, so that uh, is the older one. So the newer one, we're gonna just pop that one off I'll do that off camera and then just need to take off these two little screws, these little flat heads, and I'll show you what happens next. Next, you're going to take a nice sharp set of scissors, trim around the bezel. Now, I don't know if I explained this, but I have left it for you guys to trim. The reason being is some people like to have a little lip up here some people would like to have it flush so i've left the ability uh, for you guys to decide so we trim our little face here's uh here's my little demo one i used earlier uh we can peel the back let's see if i can do that with uh, one finger here and there you go that's our backing off uh, now this media you can see it's nice and flexible it took me a long time to get the right media it's not just your standard paper there uh it's got the right finish to it uh it's quite pliable so you can uh put it on and put it off a few times just in case you get that wrong so we're going to put that in place there's our sticky side i'm going to stick it to the face and i'll show you the next step right this one's my demo one just for test purposes only so we uh, ignore the face on it but next step is we're going to take a pin we're going to poke through the little screw holes the two little screw holes, do it from this side so you're poking it through this way. And then we also just need to just poke the uh, center section out. Uh, now, this does not have to be perfect, yeah? It doesn't have to be uh, dead round or anything like that. It just needs to be poked through. So when we put it back in place on the face here, uh, the screws cover any kind of uh, difference on the middle bit there and the hands 
cover a center like that so you can see it's all brilliant okay so that is the face uh all put in place and then it's simply putting it back together which is the reverse process of just what i've showed you how to uh, pull it apart And the final result, I think you'll agree, it's pretty stunning. It looks amazing in the dash of the 911. Uh, it really updates it and uh, gives it a great finish. So uh, I did the first ones of these about six years ago. Uh, like I said, I spent a lot of money. Uh, we've got the best kind of media we could use. They were printed on a very, very high end, uh, very expensive digital uh, press. So there is no fade at all uh with the uh faces in all of that time i did originally uh provide the full clocks built myself uh they did cost a lot of money and the problem was uh with the uh jump in porsche prices all the classic porsche prices over the years parts have also gone up so it's just not really viable to do that nowadays so i give you the uh better solution show you how to do it on video you guys can do this yourself you can really enjoy it you can really update your uh, porsches and um yeah make something very stunning like this so uh link below to where you can buy these enjoy guys and uh get out there and upgrade your cars